Hello, this is The Ramblings. I'm on Discipline Mind Podcast for Saturday, December 26th, 2015. So we're here at the in-laws. Kind of just hanging out today. Um, been kind of uh, relaxing a bit. I started actually editing this morning a little bit of Wayward Time, the third book in the Borrowed Time chronology. Uh, I might do a little bit more. Might do a little bit more um, this afternoon. I'm not spending a ton of time on it, but I'm spending a little time. So I'm. Um, my goal for this one is, is to probably pretty much have, hopefully have the editing done. It'd be nice to have it done by the end of this first semester here in, uh, in January, or the semester that starts in January. So that would mean approximately March, but, uh. I already know I've got at least one paper I'm going to have to write because my online business law class has already released the syllabus and that's on there. So we'll see. Uh, and I don't know about the management course yet, if that's going to have a online or it's going to have a paper or something like that too. Probably wouldn't surprise me. So that might uh, monopolize my time for a bit. It's rather cold today. Relative relative to yesterday. Yesterday it was almost 50 out here. We actually, one of the stocking stuffers I got the wife was a, not the wife, the daughter, was a uh, lightsaber. We used to have lightsabers years ago and we had the type that lit up and made noises and I didn't really want to spend quite that much money, so I just bought the cheap $5 ones. I wasn't sure how long they were going to last, but uh, they held up really nicely. We had a a multi-part battle between her and me, and then other people borrowed lightsabers, and we fought. And and it was was a fun time. Outside, at one point, my, my niece was outside, you know, no coat, barefoot, in the grass, <laughs> the green grass, doing a lightsaber fight. So I was like, yeah, this is uh, reminiscent of when I was a kid in California and we'd go outside and play with our toys. Although then it was like 70s, it was a lot warmer than 50s. Uh, that convinced me that somebody needs to come up with a lightsaber dueling um, fitness program, man, because. You know, if I could find somebody to have a light, a good lightsaber battle with for 15 minutes every day, I'd probably lose a lot of weight. Because <laughs> I was huffing and puffing pretty good. Uh, I don't know, we were out there, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. And maybe not. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then I was perusing... I was perusing... Facebook, and one of these Facebook ads came across one of my across my thing for this game called Fallout Shelter. So it's based upon the Fallout video game series, but in this case, you are the overseer for a particular vault. So you know if you're not familiar with the mythos around the the Fallout games, as you know. These are console games, PC games, where there's this company called Vault Tech that's created all these vaults all over the place, and people went into them to be safe from the war. And then each vault had an overseer, or nobody knew who the overseer was, and then you could do... A lot of the overseers did scientific experiments on their people. Uh, varying degrees of success. Well, in this one, you are playing, I am playing the overseer. 
and you get dwellers that, that come to join your vault and they have different skills so you got like strength and perception and intelligence and luck and there's like three or four of the ones that I'm forgetting about and so like running the power plant takes strength running the water plant takes perception running the diner takes agility and so you're trying to use your dwellers to create resources in three main areas you got food you got water you got power and then you got living quarters and you can if you put a, a man and a woman up there in the living quarters and I thought it said you had to leave them alone but so I've been kind of and plus I can't afford to have too many people up in living quarters because I really need them down making power or food or, or purifying water but if you leave them up if you leave them up a, a, a couple in the living quarters for a while they'll start talking and they'll start using some of the most horrendous pickup lines on each other it'll be oh, what are some good ones that I saw yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I wish we could rearrange the alphabet so that I could put I next to you. <laughs> kind, of, kind of stuff, you know. Or, hey, baby, is that radiation or are you glowing? You know, just stupid stuff. It's like if you ever really used them, you might not get, you know, like in a bar situation or something, trying to pick up somebody. You might not get slapped, but you probably get laughed at. Uh, oh, I remember one. Uh, there was there was one where because uh, yeah, they're all wearing these these blue jumpsuits uh, that are the yellow piping. That's kind of the Fallout style. And uh, one of the one of the lines was, "Hey, baby, is that suit felt? Do you want it to be?" <laughs> so so they, they stand there for a while, a few minutes. I don't know how long. I didn't find them. You know, the first the first couple I I was watching rather closely and watching all these pickup lines and chuckling to myself yesterday that I did. Uh, and, and, and so then so then they get uh, to the point where oh yeah you know it's you know, it's getting a little more intense and they start dancing together. Uh, they're not really touching dancing. They're just kind of like their arms are moving like they're dancing. And you can tell things are hitting up. And and then they, they start cuddling a little bit. And maybe, you know, do a little cheek kissing kind of thing. And then they'll do a lip-to-lip -lip kiss. And the little vault boy guy. Remember the guy I got on the, in the loot crate? The vault boy will show up with the, and give me the thumbs up like... Success, and then they'll go off to this back part of the living quarters that you can't see, and you'll see little happy faces. So obviously they're they're getting it on. <laughs> and then when they come back out, it seems to typically happen the first time. There's one couple where it seemed to take two two iterations, but when they come back out, the woman's pregnant. So I've been trying to keep the woman pregnant, which actually sounds really horrible to put it that way, but you know, just because, you know, pregnant women give us kids and then kids become, gives me more dwellers and I need more people to run the various things. So, um, so last night, I think I had like four women in the, um, in the vault that I started off with four or five I think four though because it was it was kind of a high it's kind of a high ratio of men to women more men than women so um, you're also supposed to try to uh, manage people's happiness and there's things you can do like you can give them a poodle uh, there's a poodle that you know, adjusts happiness upward. So somebody's like at 50 or 60%, so he's kind of like feeling meh. I'll give him the poodle, and that bumps him up to 100. 
Also, somebody's kind of low, and I've got a woman that isn't pregnant. I'll, uh, not surprisingly, uh, having a little sex helps the old happiness scale. So, yeah, so this morning I woke up, and we had four brand new kids. And you can adjust the names if you want. And then they kind of run around and be kids for like two and a half hours. So you can't, you can't assign them to anything as far as work. They just kind of run around. You can, uh, if like they get injured or something due to raiders or something like that, then you can, you can heal them. But that's about all you can do with them. You can look at their stats, you can heal them. And they just kind of run all over the place and... Ask people to play hide and seek and crap like that. But then after two and a half hours, then they're adults. And then you can, you know, you can uh, do anything you want with them. You can make them pregnant. You can assign them to tasks. So I have kind of started on my second round of birthing. But now I'm a little bit annoyed because for some reason, this new, and some of them are the same women, but this new batch of pregnant women, apparently they won't leave the living chambers. I don't know if that's to to, to keep a limit on how many women I can have pregnant at a time, although I think right now I've got three. So, but yeah, so you're supposed to, you got these different rooms and you're supposed to build things up and you can make stim packs. Uh, I've got to build a room to make rad packs and that'll help protect against the radiation. They're starting to see some small signs of radiation sickness, so I need to add that. And it's just a constant shuffling of, of resources there. You got to try, I'm trying, I need to kind of make sure that the people that are doing these tasks are at their optimal task. And then things happen. Like if I'm really short on... If I'm really short on food, say, and uh, I've got two places that make food, and if one of them is going to be another five minutes before they're done, I can try to get them to rush it. And usually with rushing it, because you're taking a risk, um... You get some extra experience points. You get some extra caps. So caps for Nuka-Cola are basically money. And uh, you get some extra caps. But you also usually have a probability that the rush is going to fail. And if the rush fails, then something bad is going to happen. Now, the probabilities are kind of BS because I've kind of learned that, you know, a lot of times you get something that's in the 30s, sometimes the 40s. I think once or twice I've gotten a probability of the 50s. And I usually try to stay in like the mid 30s or below because, you know, a 30, you know, if I got a 35% chance that it's going to fail, that's what, a 65% chance that it's going to be successful. But but the actual, my actual success slash failure rate is much less than that. It's probably... No better than 50-50. It might even be like 40% successes to 60% losses. But then when it fails, when it, when it succeeds, you get whatever the resource is, plus you get some caps, and plus you get, I think it's some XP. If it fails, then something's going to happen. It might be that that room catches on fire. It might be there are these things that are called uh, nuka roaches. I think they're called nuka roaches. Basically, big, you know, radiation has made them, you know, the size of a dog kind of thing. You got to kill those. 
uh, every now and then, randomly, those things might spawn, uh, even without doing a rush. And then every now and again, you'll get raiders. So they're kind of, you know, dressed Mad Max style, <laughs> if you will. Uh, you know, metal bikinis and, and, and the like. And they come in with swords and guns, and they're trying to, to kill and rampage, and you got to fight them off. I have been able to fight them off. I had the last raid, I had two people die. And you, you have a choice. You can just, you know, get rid of their bodies, or you can revive them, which costs caps. You know, so since dwellers are at a premium, I've gone ahead and spent the caps and revived them because I need workers to man my little vault. But it's it's rather fun and it's rather rather addicting. I've I've uh, spent a lot of time at it yesterday. I, I downloaded it probably like seven o'clock or something like that, and I was, I was just like in that, and then I've been playing it a bit today too in fact by the time I get back I need to check my vault <laughs> see what's going on anyway I don't know where I'm at in time I'm probably long um, but yeah check it out I, I got off the Google Play Store I imagine it's out for iOS too if you're an Apple person but uh, and not even having played oh you can also send somebody out to explore the wasteland and you don't really get to see that but you can you can kind of see a, a, a log that they that they leave and you can let them go for so long and they might find caps and they might find supplies uh, one found a gun and um, and then you can have them come back after a while and you can collect what they got so so yeah it's a fun time and not even having ever played in Fallout it's you don't need to play in Fallout to really get the game it's kind of like Tiny Towers if you ever play Tiny Towers, you'll get this. It's, it's a similar mechanic. It's a little bit different. You're not constantly going up and down the elevators. Uh, like you are in Tiny Towers. And obviously you're building down into the earth instead of up. Up into the air. But Anyway, uh, I will be back on Monday. And I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.